Gotten a few things out of the way. We've taken the hood off and the battery and the air filter box and a few other things here, but what I'm primarily working on now is getting everything from up top that's accessible disconnected from the entire engine assembly. So I've got the wiring harnesses here, as you can see, disconnected from the fuse block. I've got the transmission connector disconnected because it's part of that harness. The powertrain control modules out of the way, the coolant hoses are disconnected. Charge air cooler pipes are disconnected here and here. I'm working on getting the starter and the alternator cables back there disconnected. That's what you see running through this harness here. Then after that, we'll raise it up on the lift and go underneath, see what else needs to be disconnected. Then we should be good to lift this engine out of here. I, I Dude, I can't get over these gloves. But like, look. <laughs> they look like used gloves, too. They do look like used gloves. Like, it looks like somebody was wearing them like, all right, we're all done pulling this engine out, so just go ahead and put the gloves on them over there. Look at that little bitty turbo wheel, dude. Look at that thing. It's a toast. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How's it feel, okay? No movement. Good. In or out or up or down. Well, a little up and down. Nope. But that's fine. That's supposed to do that. Well, that's what you want it to be. spins free. Nice. Look at that. We only got three flywheel bolts that we got to take out so that'll be easy and i believe you get to them yep you get to them right here through the starter which i already took out so apparently this came out of a traverse or a traverse tracks. uh tracks <laughs> that'd be an awful small engine for a traverse man they just cut everything like like look at this didn't even bother unbolting the ground cables nothing you know i was hoping that we could use a wiring harness on this one but it's obviously not going to work because they've already cut it all up so we'll have to transfer the new wiring harness over. That's all right. No big deal. Look, even every little individual injector connector. Yeah, they just did. Every single one of them was just cut right off. What you ratcheting on there? A bolt. Blast the housing bolt. That's oh, it? Now that's the last one? Yeah, now it's kind of breaking free on me, so do it by hand. There it is. It's out. Wow. I just laid my arm under the rest. I mean, just to show you guys how easy this is, like, when did you get here? You got here, what, 9, 9.30? Yeah, so probably, so yeah, you've been here an hour. Yeah. We kind of talked for a little bit. I started on it at 8, and it's 10.42 right now, and this engine is ready to come out. Like, a flat rate tech in a shop could probably have this engine out in less than an hour. I mean, th th this is stupid easy. It's crazy how easy this is. But we got the last bell housing bolt out, torque converter bolts are out. Get the engine hoist over here, hook a chain up to it. I guess we gotta figure out where we're gonna pick it up from here still, but. Yeah. Oh yeah. Basically. Loose already? Yep. Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're good here. Right. Please don't go full China on me. <laughs> <laughs> I've used this thing quite a bit since I've gotten it. I mean, it seems to have worked pretty well so far. That should be enough to clear. That should be good. Oh, roll her back there, sir. We have enough room here. <laughs> I think we'll make it work. We can move these out of the way. Oh, Here we go. Uh, I say we'll just swing it out that way. Yeah. Perfect. Got just enough room. All right. We'll have to check that torque converter seal. Make sure that's okay. Lost a little bit of. Transmission fluid there, but nowhere near as much as we did in the F-150. I'm gonna put some more cat litter down. Three hours later, just in a garage with like, what, one and a half or two guys here working on it. <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> one and .0015 guys Looks good. Spilled a little bit of fluid, but no big deal. We don't need to worry about that. Transmission's kind of at a funny angle, but we'll straighten that out. I mean, the converter looks okay. Doesn't look like it overheated or anything. Everything looks good on it. There you go. There you go. Just get your fingers in there. 
Make sure it's yeah, we gotta all wait. the way. There ah, there you go. That looked good. Converter looks Pros nice. LLC. <laughs> well, there we go. And we got to swap that wire harness over to the newer engine. We got to looking a little bit closer at the turbo here, and it's a good thing that they actually sent me an engine that includes a whole turbo assembly. Look at that crack right there. Get it to focus here. Yep, there you go. You can see the crack. Not to mention the impeller wheels are chewed up. So I don't know if the coolant going through it contributed to that or what, but it needed a turbo as well. That's for sure. Look how they're all chewed up. Like the edges of the blades. Mm. All right, so the wire harness is stripped off of this one. And uh, it's just sitting right over there. Right on top of what this vehicle pretty much represents. <laughs> just kidding. There's the engine right there that we're going to swap everything over to. Let's just set the old engine down on a tire or something. Probably don't even need to do that. And uh, then we'll pick up the new engine with the, with the hoist. I didn't see anything. All right, <laughs> collision. Oh, well, it looks like we got a fully dressed engine assembly ready to go back in. It looked like this one, what'd they say it came out of a Trax? Yeah. A 2015, 2015 Trax. And uh, the oil pan over here had a hole in it where I guess the, <laughs> something hit it because obviously, I mean, look at that big gouge in that engine oil drain plug there and then just broke it out of the pan. So fortunately, that's an easy pan to drop out while we're here. So they just got a freshly resealed engine oil pan for no extra charge. How about that? Must be nice. Right. Let's just start doing that. We uh, got our exhaust on, the catalytic converters back on, tensioners back on. Everything's looking good. I'd say we're ready to throw this thing back in. What do you say? Let's do it. Shields, last thing. At least we hope it's the last thing. I mean, we still gotta put the hood back on, but it should be the last part underneath the car. While he's doing that, I'm gonna hook up the negative battery cable here. Oh, saw a couple sparks. You wanna do the honors? What are we doing? Fire it up. We're starting it. Fire it up. Go. Do you hear how that sounded? You know all those weird sounds we just heard. And that, that random knock. Oh well, it's running fine. <laughs> Sounds good to me. That did not sound promising at first though. I don't know what that was. That was probably all the rust build up in the cylinders breaking off. Shut her off and start it again. What's that? My guess is the starter. Maybe the starter's done that all along. And we're just now paying attention to it. Maybe. That's got to be the starter. I mean, I, there's only one way it goes in, right? Right. Well, well I don't see any leaks. I got to do the thermal pull up. Yeah. How are our vitals looking there, okay? Good. Quality. All right. That's an open warning. <laughs> well, we got to top the transmission fluid off a little bit because we lost some when we took the torque converter out. We'll just rip this wheel off right quick, let it warm up. Uh, burn off all the penetrating oil and everything. It sounds good. It definitely had some coolant to burn out of the exhaust, as you can see here. But it's starting to thin up. It was a lot thicker at first. But she's thinning out all right. We don't have any codes. We got uh, the Craftsman floor jack fast idle stick there. 
No codes, that's looking good. Coolant temperature is looking good. We'll let that warm all the way up, let the cooling fan kick on. A traction control light comes on whenever I plug my scan tool in. It's looking good. Sounding pretty good. Not bad at all. Go ahead and drop that hood, see if we got the hood lined up. Looks good to me.